Let's look at this one, though. All right. So if I said to myself, self, I know right now that I need to replace x squared with u. And I need to replace x to the fourth with u squared. That's great. Let's see what that does for us. So that give us a 2 u squared minus 6 u plus 9 equals 0. And from right here, I mean, we could try to factor this thing out by taking uh, 2 times 9 is 18. There's no two factors of 18. That would give us a negative 6. So we're kind of out of luck there. We would probably need to use the quadratic formula. So we see that u is, uh, well, the negative of negative 6 is 6, plus or minus the square root of negative 6 squared is 36, minus 4 times a times c. That's nice. And all over 2a. So this ends up being a 6 plus or minus the square root of 36 minus 72, right? Which would give us a negative 36 all over 4. And continuing with this would have 6 plus or minus. Uh, Do you pull out an i and then make it the square? Yeah, 6i right there over 4. We could simplify this, but before we do that, Let's replace u with what it is. And u originally was x squared. So in actuality, to solve this thing, we'd have to take the square root of both of these. And then we'd have plus or minus that garbage. Um, the problem with this is it's an absolute value, which is, I guess that's where the plus or minus came from. So technically, I guess we could say that it's the plus or minus value of 6 plus or minus 6i all over 2. So I guess that's fine. It's just we got the square root of an i on this thing. So if I remember right on the homework, they just said that it can't be factored. But I guess technically we did, we did kind of find an answer. Where did you get the two? Well, <laughs> here's another thing about this one. And this is why the book wants, it, wants you guys to write cannot be factored is, I mean, not that any of the other parts we've done on this section specifically are very pretty, but this one is especially ugly, okay? Because on the inside of this square root, we've got a plus or minus, and then we got one on the outside. I mean, where does it end? Well, I'm sorry, it never really ends for us math people because <laughs> we're kind of nerdy like that, but for you guys, it should end right there. Let's just say that it cannot be factored. If this, if this had come out nice and clean, that 6 plus or minus 6i, hey, that's fine. But it's, it's got the i thing, so we can't really combine those two terms anyways. That was a little tricky of them, the jerks. Um, and, and that being this far away or far, far out from the factoring stuff, I mean, you, you would have factored, looked to factor it by grouping because we have a coefficient of the u squared. But yeah, 2 times 9 is 18. Yeah. 18, yeah. What would that be? 9 and 2 and 6 and 3. Uh, the problem with that is since it's positive, both of these have to be negative. So that was double tricky because we may have seen those and said, hey, we can do it, but they both have to be negative. That's garbage.